Welcome to the Right Direction Best Bits. I'm Lace, my man, and I've got Josephine with me. Hello, Lace. How are you, I'm Josephine? Fine, thank you. Great, great, great. Yes. Now, we just go through the best bit stories, trending videos, and this mm -hmm. is what we catch up on. Now, um, this week, there was a video. I watched it mm -hmm. myself. Um, a lady from the diaspora, she went home mm. to bury her husband, and she was made to walk over his grave a few times, you know, and people were commenting, trending that this tradition is all about the women. What about the men? You know, and, and, I, and I thought I'd bring it to you as a woman because there are other traditions like in, in Benin, where I come from, this yeah. woman was in the East. There is, there is the saying that even sometimes the woman has to drink from water that was used to, to mm. bathe the dead. You know, and she has to do certain things as a woman. Is, are these practices something you're conversant with? I'm conversant with it, but um, from my background, which is Benin, I, I do remember back in the day when um, a, a husband dies, the woman is not meant to sleep during the week. Yeah. So she's awake throughout the night, and then they have um, friends and families who would come make sure that she doesn't fall asleep. Wow. Yes, that was, for, that's, for, that was a tradition. For, for how long is she awake? Oh, she's, uh, she's awake throughout the night. She can't, she can't possibly fall asleep. At all? At all. Wow. Because I think they said if she falls asleep, it, it means that, you know, she has a hand in the husband's death yes. or something. This, you know. this, this practice, is, 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 it's, 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 it must be going back. But it I, is going back. It is going back and unfortunately is actually, it favors the men than the women in the sense that I'm not sure because I keep asking myself these questions as well. Is it because the men are the ones who pay the bright price and they feel they are the head? Nah. I don't know, but it's just, for, it's a barbaric, it's, it's a, a barbaric uh, practice. Uh, practice. You know, somebody said and to me satanic that. satanic as well. <laughs> oh yes, somebody said. Satanic. Somebody said, if there was no Christianity, um, this is what we have. That this, it, the, to escape culture is the reason why people pick uh, Christianity and stuff like that. You to know, escape to, to, escape, to escape culture, like these aspects of culture, where if the woman came up and said, I'm a Christian, my religious beliefs prevents me from doing such a thing, and she will be excused or pay the price or do something like that. I would have, no, no. I wouldn't ascribe it to that. I would totally, I totally disagree. Because they said <laughs> culture is the because our culture and customs need to be even the English culture and customs have been modernized over the years. Come yeah. in and come in. I mean, don't, to, don't get woman. me wrong. Tradition is kind of was kind of like the policies back in the day. Yeah. You know, before uh, Christianity came along. However, I don't think it's enough to say, oh, because you're running away from practicing your, your, your barbaric traditions, then that's why you're now becoming a Christian. I don't think so. Before my dad died, he was an elder in the church. Mm. Along um, his life, uh, many times in his life, he was, uh, he was, I saw it. There was a time where everybody had some form of uh, date, mm -hmm, some mm -hmm, sort of, mm -hmm. uh, you know, but later on when he became an elder, a deacon and stuff in the church, he wasn't, he wasn't participating in those things. I think if from a family perspective, from every perspective, they respect the fact that mm. if your religion comes forward, yes. they would excuse you exactly. from this thing. So from a woman's perspective, do you think it's women, uh, because the, 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 the cultures are skewed. Mm. If a man's wife dies, he's petted and given a new wife. You know, if a woman's husband died, she's doing all sorts. All sorts of things. She's drinking yeah. the, the dead water. She's at home for seven days. Yeah. She's doing all this kind. But if the woman was declaring Christianity, would she even get away with it, or would they not say she has a hand? She has a hand in this thing. I mean, you heard Mr. Edwin was talking earlier, some time ago, that there was a woman whose husband died in a car crash. Mm. And they made her drink the dead, the dead body, and they put her aside. Honestly, that still beats my imagination. I still find, and I don't know why, it is geared towards the women to say, yes, 
you know, you have probably uh, to clear your innocence. What, I mean, what innocence? What innocence is I this? Don't, I don't mean? understand it. It, it. it beats my, imagine, in my, my imagination Imagine's as well. We have to take you know, it. Because as a Christian, like I was saying this morning, my grandma, she practiced back then the Ishan goals and everything, you know. And towards her later life, she gave her life to Christ. Then. My mom kept telling her, no, this is not the way. You know, and she was like, no, tradition stands. Nobody has the right to break tradition, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, she gave her life to Christ. And um, she was buried in a Christian way. She wasn't buried in a traditional no way. way. You know how they yes, do it yes, back yes. in the days. They do isoton and all, yeah. all those, all those that, things. I think the women are, uh, the women are, we, we, the women are pushed. That, that I can say. And yeah. I think our cultures need to be modernized. It, it needs to be modernized like... My husband's family now, they are very, you know, they are Christians. And they, 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 they are, their own, uh, what's it called, their tradition is, if a woman cheats on the husband, the husband dies. Oh. If the husband, if, if they cook, if the wife cooks for the husband, and um, the wife is cheating, and he, she cooks for the, for the husband, the man would die or either fall sick. It, it, uh, do you believe in this? this year? <laughs> I haven't said that. I have actually seen a very, 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 very close friend of ours. Because my husband said, he asked, what happened to you? He asked his friend or cousin, what happened to you? And um, he said, well, you know, this is, you know, this is the tradition. And my husband was like, what? He said, yeah, my wife cheated on me and um, she cooked for me. And this is the result of how I look now. Oh my Jesus. I, I could not believe it. <laughs> Some of these things are laughable. I could the, not. That man, that man has probably done something. You know, and, and then, I was what? like, what? <laughs> so my husband now was asking, he said, the Bini tradition, is it like that? I said, in my Bini tradition, what I know is it is forbidden for a woman to even look outside. It is, it is forbidden. The, I mean, I don't know the sacrifices there is, but I do know it is forbidden, which is right. Why would you even be married and do such a thing? I've, I've, you know, just talking to you now, I'm trying to pick my brain to think if there was any one of my aunties that was married that cheated or any, I can't, I can't recall. <laughs> Honestly. But definitely the, the traditions need to be modernized yeah. and need to be explained. Explained, You understand? Yes. Yes, well, yes. thank you. I'm going to bring you another best bit. That's okay. the one for tradition. Coming back with another one. Thank you.